All right, everyone, let's see what today's pattern is. Another new one, Cheryl Lee's Haley 2018. This one's called Offset. <clears throat> so, looks like first thing we're going to do is draw some zigzag. Second thing is right here we're going to put a little crescent shape. And then on the top we're going to go this way. So this crescent does not go all the way to the end. I noticed that it only goes like three quarters of the way. Not quite half. A little bit more than half, but not all the way to the end. And then the same going the other direction. Comes over, but doesn't come all the way to the end. It only goes part way. So you end up with this like split look thing there. And then... Then we come down from here to there. Making that into like a triangle. And then we come up, making the other side into a triangle. So we're looking like that as the thing. So our initial zigzag, we actually don't want it straight. We want it kind of a bit at an angle. We'll see what happens. So here's a sample. And I want to find the pattern in this sample because it's hard to see. It's here. Right there. Right? And there's another one here. Another one here. And then there's one here going this way. It looks like there's one here too. And then in between, she's filled in with some other things. That's really kind of cool. <clears throat> Alright, so. I'm just going to give it a go. See what happens. So on this one, unlike the one I did yesterday going to put a bit of a border so I can have a thought process here. Turn on my light. Watch your eyes. Everybody close your eyes. Uh, it's always the worst. I have the same problem. I, I, it gets all glary on me. But once I turn it on, then it's good. Okay, so. Step one. I'm going to give myself a border. None of this business where I run out of room. Like I did on the one yesterday, because that was for the birds. I didn't like that. I think that was part of my problem why I didn't like the composition. Because I didn't leave myself any white space around the edge. Oops. Well, poo. I need, I need my painter's tape. Take down this paper on the... It's coming up, which I don't like. Let's put a little right here. Okay. Okay, so what's what am I doing first? I'm doing a zigzag. Um just gonna play. Okay, so it's a Something like that, and I did not do a very good job. In the least. But we'll see what happens if you have a wonky zig. Because this is a really bad zig. It's gone all cottywampus. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to put my offsets on this side. I think so.
I don't know. How does it... I've turned it around sideways on me here. That's the inside of the zig. My zig's going the other way. To turn my turn my phone around so that my zig matches my zag here. It doesn't match. Why doesn't it match? How can your zigzag be upside down? I did something wrong? Okay. I want it, I want it to go this way. So I'm going to go over halfway here and over halfway like that. Just going to do both of them at the same time. Like that. So far, so good. I think. I'm not 100% sure. And then that goes like that. So your ziggy wonky zigzag isn't so bad. Not so bad. Okay. Good to know. I'm happy with that. Okay. So then I want to zigzag again. I definitely want this border though. So it's coming into play permanently. Like that. Sometimes I have a a fuzzy border. Sometimes I have a more permanent border. This one's more permanent. Okay, let's decide which way. We have some zigzags. doesn't matter which direction it appears that it makes no difference why is it saying my battery is running low on my PC hmm alrighty then So this time I did more of a ziggy zag. I don't know. Try that. So it seems like the best way to do this is to find your outer point and go toward the middle on whichever side you're deciding you're going on. Okay, this would make an interesting ribbon or border just as it is, just like that. Playing with scale. Needed a bigger one.
something like that. Okay. That's just weird. I think I like her sample better when all of her zigzags are going in the same direction, but that is not what I did. So, get over it, Don. Um, Hey, I've got this really weird thing happening here. between here I'm not exactly sure what I want to do I want to make this more graphic though I'm going to color in this part Changed my bigger nib pen because it's a little bit faster for coloring in. I didn't expect Bob the Builder to be working today, but he is. But all he's doing is delivering bricks. They're not actually doing any construction today because they have to wait for the inspector. So that's all right. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just do that on all of them. I'm gonna color in just the heart shapes. I want to see that shape and that they're they're all getting lost in there because I've got so much going on. I think I've got a little almost too much going on, but you never know. Tile seems to have a mind of its own.
That's interesting. I like what it does. It has a shape. I like this shape. Even without this, this bit, I like this shape. So that would be an interesting shape to play with. Just a line with the... with these sort of crescent shapes partway across each of the lines. It's weird, I wouldn't normally fill in this much black on a tile. Um, it's not something I would regularly do. But this tile is just kind of telling me this is what it wants. It wants all these sort of weird S-shaped bits. Even with some overlapping like this. Just gonna make a weird funky thing in the middle there, but it's okay. It's telling me it wants these shapes. Those are interesting shapes and I think if I just put a little bit of shading I liked the sample with with all the things in between but I think I don't need it I think I'm just gonna do some shading and see what happens 
Um, I'm going to shade where they overlap first. Where they overlap each other. No, nope, that's not an overlap of each other. That's just overlap of itself. Think. Gotta think. This one overlaps. This one's overlapping this one, right? And this one is overlapping that one. There. And this one's on top. This one's an interesting challenge for shading. This is the one that's on top. It's overlapping that, but you don't you're not gonna see any of the overlap. Okay. That's on top of that one. That's on top of that one. And this one's on top of that one. Okay. So far, so good. Um, I think I want there. At the wide part of each one. You know the nice thing about shading is if it's not what you want you can erase it I know seems sacrilegious right it's not just erase what you don't like and if it's not enough add more too much take it away simple simple concept that one okay I like that I want something in the background but I don't know what I don't want to make it too busy I might actually make it a color just a, a light I'm take this Faber Castell metallic uh, it doesn't have a color it's some sort of purpley pink and I'm just gonna put it in the background here one of these days I want to get some Excuse me, of the odorless uh, mineral spirits that Melinda Barlow uses to um, blend her color pencil. I'd like to try that because she's got these color pencils. She colors in with the color pencil and then she uses this odorless mineral spirits and it makes her color pencil almost look like watercolor. It's really pretty. I'd like to try that sometime. I, for some reason, want color on this tile. And this is the color that was near me. I had more than one color near me, but this one, this one just kind of leapt it, leapt itself out. And, and it's just a subtle bit of color. It's not like a bright color like 
like when I use my dark colored pencils. These metallics are just soft when on white paper. When they're on black, they come out really bold. There's a big contrast, but when it's on white, it just is a soft pastel kind of color. Oh, well, that's the other thing I want to do. I want to get some black, black cardstock or black sketchbook paper. I want to cut some black tiles and play with those. I haven't really done much with black tiles. I'd like to do that. I've done a little, but I. I don't know, I wasn't happy with the paper I had. It was more like a construction paper rather than a art sketching paper. I didn't really like it. So, to try a different kind of paper. There we go. Is that what I wanted? I don't know. It's just subtle. You guys almost probably can't see it. Can you see? It's just got a slight purplish pinky purple tinge. It's pretty. I'm, I'm okay with this. It's not what I had in my head. I totally envisioned something closer to the sample, but um, clearly that is not what happened, which is fine. This one is called Offset, which way is it going to live? See, that's the thing. Sometimes the composition feels better one way than another. Feels good either that way. Oh, feels best that way. Okay. I think I'm done. Not too sure why, but I think I'm done. I will see you guys tomorrow. You guys have a great day. Go out and do something nice for somebody today. Help make this world a better place. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.